Ready? Ready. Okay. Hi, I'm Sam. I'm one of the artists here at Arts Place, and we thought we'd put a little video together for you so that you can have some creative time at home. We're going to be making today a wax resist watercolor painting using some materials that we hopefully hope that you have on hand, uh, including crayons or pastels, oil pastels, and temper paints and or watercolor paints. Both would be fine. If you don't happen to have crayons or pastels on hand, you can also use the wax from a candle. You can use a candle or a tea light and just pop it out. You can use this just like a crayon. So I'm gonna start with a couple sheets of watercolor paper. You can use regular paper, but it's gonna wrinkle a little bit. And what I'm gonna be creating for you is an underwater scene. No animals, just an underwater scene. I do have one that I made earlier, and this one happens to be a grown-up version. This one is just an abstracted mixed media piece using crayons, pastels, temper paint, and watercolor. So this one can be for grown-ups and kids. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do using my crayons and my pastel is start to draw. So in this case, I'm gonna think about maybe a little bit of seaweed, I like starting with the white crayon and the white pastel because I never know what I'm going to get. It's a surprise at the end, which is exciting to me. I think it's really cool. Maybe some bubbles because I'm going to be underwater. And then I'm going to add other colors, maybe some green for my seaweed. And it doesn't have to be fancy. It can be really loose and really just fun. You can just have fun with it. Maybe you think about food, food source for animals. Maybe you can think about different types of underwater environments, maybe a lake environment or an ocean environment. Mine is gonna be, hmm, maybe a lake. I think a lake is good. So here's my seaweed. And if I'm happy with that, I'm gonna move on to the next thing. And I think I'm gonna add some more bubbles and maybe even some waves in the background, because I'm underwater. I wanna show that there's some waves going on here in my ocean. So maybe I start to do something nice and loose, just representing the water back here. I'm gonna change colors in a second too. And I'm just trying to create some interesting shapes, things that to me represent the ocean or the lake. Maybe a light blue or a teal, and they can be any types of waves. Swirly waves, they can be scribbly waves, all kinds of colors, all kinds of waves. All right, let's see. I feel like I'm ready for the next step. So after I've done all of my crayons and all of my pastels, I'm ready to use my watercolor or my tempera paints. So I have here just a couple regular paint brushes, nothing fancy, and I'm just gonna start to paint. By using lots of water, lots of water, you're gonna be able to notice how the paint reacts and resists the wax crayon that we've drawn. So you'll start to get some really neat effects, as especially as the wax starts to push the water away, you'll get some really interesting shapes, some really interesting effects. And it may take a moment for it to appear. That's okay. To take your time. Nice and slow. Ooh, I'm seeing here my white little seaweed is popping through. It looks pretty cool. And you can change colors as much or as little as you'd like. You can use watercolor techniques if you know how to do that. If you don't, watercolor techniques are pretty easy. Add more water, mix new colors. It's kind of the basics. And then we just keep going. So I'm gonna switch here, maybe do a little watercolor. Things are nice and bright. And the more water, the better. Watercolor paints love water. So I'm using a nice loose technique here. Just trying to coat my whole paper with lots and lots of painted water. And now you can really start to see the effects of the crayon popping through. Notice the white crayon I did before? That looks really neat, it's coming up through the water. And of course the green crayon stays and shows nice and bright. If you don't have a white crayon, like I said, you can use the wax from a candle, you can use crayon, you can use pastel, but make sure you put that down first. 
then you can get into some details. It's one of my other favorite parts of watercolor. You can start to add things. I'm gonna mix it with my temper paint to get some neat colors. So you can start to add some depth. You can start to add some detail. And the whole time, the crayon is still resisting through. It's pretty cool. It's a little underwater scene. And when you feel like you're done, you leave it to dry, set it aside. You can start on another one if you wanted to. But there you go, a little underwater wax resist watercolor painting. Thanks, see you again soon.